I also want you to have this. It's a TM I'm particularly fond of. It's called Dragon Tail. Yeah, I know it. I know it pretty well. Oh. Hey guys, Pony here with another episode of Pokemon Black 2 Solo Run. In the last episode, we progressed quickly uh, through the cave to getting to Undela Town, and then after fighting Zack, going through the route following that to get to here to Cobalion seeing exactly what he has in store for us, because I don't remember if we fight him here or not. Yup, we do. <laughs> that was easy. Hi, Cobalion. I have a Flygon. You're a Steel-type. I'm not worried. I have a level 50 Flygon. Just die. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. <laughs> Single Iron Head won't do much. Let's go for another Bulldoze. Dead! I mean, I could have caught him, but no. It's a solo run. Why do I care? <laughs> so Balion ran away beyond the road. I feel like I was supposed to catch him. Oops. Story! Hi there, Brendan. <laughs> I use Fly, so it looks like I beat you here. Thanks for your help to Universal Mountain. Well, I haven't been here, Bianca, so I can't do that. If you want to go straight past Lacanosa Town, you'll reach up Lucid City. But before you go, there's something I want you two to hear. What is it? You'll know soon enough. Hurry now. We. <laughs> Hello. You must be the ones who want to hear the old tale about Lacanosa Town. That's right. Please tell us. All right, my dearies, please come in. Wee. Boop. Oh god, she looks terrifying. What the? Ugh. Yeah, in Lacanosa Town, there's a mighty big hole. Have you heard of the giant chasm? I have, but I've played this game before, so you know. Oh, I've heard of that around the giant. Chasm, there's been brief temperature readings of negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what Sharon told me anyway. Do they seriously have to define Fahrenheit and Celsius within separate versions of this game? I guess, sure, it's the localization team's problem, but that's weird. <laughs> Why would they even specify? I, whatever. They have to specify because they're two different numbers. The road is blocked, so we can't get there right now. A long time ago, the giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. A really scary Pokemon was hidden inside that meteor. A meteor? When darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears. A frigid wind follows it. It freezes everything around and eats people and Pokemon. That's why everyone was afraid. The Pokemon eat p people? So our ancestors surrounded the town with walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Also, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. And that's the end of the old tale. Fascinating story. I'll add it to my research records. Everyone, we should be going. Okie dokie. I have no reason to stay in this town, so sure. Let's go! Wasn't that an interesting folktale? I would be worried that it's true and not a folktale, Juniper. Pokemon's true identity may be unknown, but the power mentioned in the story is incredible. I know! The power to freeze anything around it could even rival the power of the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. Yes, Bianca. It's like, it's almost like Zekrom, scorched Unova with intense light long ago. By the way, Brennan, do you remember the story of Zekrom? Yes. I told you a little about an Town. I told you a little about an Town, remember? Er, wait, who's talking? Zekrom is a legendary Dragon-type Pokemon that lends its power to the person it recognizes as a hero, pursuing ideals. I'm assuming it's Juniper. It has a black body and it can unleash fearsome lightning. Professor, do you think there's a connection between the Pokemon from the old story and the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon? Uh-huh. The Meteorite. The Meteorite? Zekrom was revived from a rock called the Darkstone. Let's suppose the Meteorite from the story and this stone are one and the same. Take into account that elements from the same era were found in Dragon Spiral Tower, where Zekrom was, and in the giant chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be a piece of the puzzle. Let's not write it off as coincidence just yet. 
your theories are true, it should really be a strong Pokemon. It would be a really strong Pokemon. What kind of reason would there be for it to come out only at night? Like, if, like, it doesn't, like, sunshine or something like that? Or sunlight. Until we look into it more deeply, it would be hard to say anything about that. Now that I think about it, the name Lacanosa could be derived from look, Lacanosis clouds, which are clouds that resemble a net or a fence. I wonder if the name is related to the part of the story where they built walls to protect the town for the, from that Pokemon. Sorry, I rambled on a bit, didn't I? Brennan, could I ask you... Could you ask Drayden about this if you get the chance? I'm going to do a little field work. Bianca, help out, okay? Sure thing. Oh, just so you know, Opus City's mayor, Drayden, wrestles with his Pokemon to toughen them up. Professor Juniper, wait up! That's such a random fact. You didn't want to say Opus City's mayor, Drayden, wrestles with his Pokemon, and he's the gym leader. Because <laughs> I don't think we've been told that Drayden's the gym leader. Yet. Oh, hi! What's up? Have you seen Team Plasma around it? Anywhere around here? Heard a rumor to that effect. Uh oh, for crying out loud, this is troublesome indeed, my curious trainers. Perhaps I should satiate your curiosity somewhat. The reason I'm still part of Team Plasma is this. I wanted to know how the world would change. Listen, Pokemon are nature. Pokemon are civilization. Humans who are used to civilization. Whoa. Humans who are used to civilization don't relinquish it easily. Of course, both nature and civilization are important. What will happen to a world taken over by Team Plasma? People will be forced to throw out Pokeballs and proactive civilization. I want to know what that looks like. I want to enjoy it. Shut your mouth. Why do you have to do the pose? <laughs> All I want is to get back a stolen Pokemon. Brennan, give me a hand. You ready? Just to let you know. You're about to feel my rage. Let's do this. Let's fight these chumps. Grunt and Zinzolin. Golbat and Cryogonal. Oh god, Ice type bad. Scary. We have Ground Dragon and Grass. Ice type bad. Go away, please. Superior, that's not what we need right now. It's really not what we need right now. Go away, please. Okay, you're dead. Awesome. Oh, more. There's more. Yes, Rock Slide. No! Golbat avoided it. Golbat avoided it. Crap. Sneeze will avoid Dang it! Okay. That was easy. And then Garboder! Oh, that's. That's troublesome. Screw it! <laughs> yeah. I don't really care, Superior. <laughs> You're superior. You're fine. <laughs> that was easy. What a blunder to have made in front of Zinzel. Pressure I felt for you just now. What was that? Ooh, I got a lot of money. What's with these two? I'm battling alongside Zinzel. This shouldn't be happening. These trainers remind me of that one from two years ago. Most important, we must continue our search. They did never say where the main character from the previous game is. At least with gold and silver, they explain reds in a mountain. But with this, they mention the trainer a lot. And we don't know where he is. Where is he? Like that sign just said, it might be an opposite city. We'll play with you again later. And since you can sync your previous game to this one, that'd be cool if you could battle yourself, like your team from your previous game. That'd be great. Get back here! Okay, you can deal with that. I'm gonna heal my team and silently be on my way. Route 12. Ooh, item. Ah, I gotta fight a dude. Didn't wanna fight you. Ooh, a hair across. Okay, uh, dragon tail. Ouch. <laughs> Crunch. Why did I outspeed you then? Found a green shard. <laughs> Guess that's good for something. Was it really this easy? 
Okay, no, there's the bridge. There's a lot of stuff here, though. Like, there's the tennis courts. There's... Isn't there a place where I can talk to someone in a house here? Or, like, a chef guy? Was that just in the previous game? Ooh, there's this! Oh, I added a flute! That's great! Or candy. Not that I need that. <laughs> That's awesome! The music's so good! Oh, hi. Wait, wait! I've been waiting for this day. You're my 1,000th opponent. I've got a 999 win streak. Be my battle opponent. Not yet. I understand. I've got a 9 on win streak. It's natural to be intimidated. But I can't let you go further unless you battle me. And there's no, definitely no way around me. Nope. You shouldn't use Surf to cross the river, for example. So I either battle him or Surf across the river. Basically saying, you can Surf across the river, you idiot. I don't wanna. <laughs> Let's fight, let's fight this chump. Nope. Nope. I'm fighting this chump. Ha! Lucario. Steel type, but also he could hurt if I don't kill him in one shot. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, good. <laughs> Stonewall. He had a good team! <laughs> well, the Lucario, the Durant's not great. I've steadily extended my win streak for two years, and now it's over. But I have a strong will. I declare that I'll try again to have a 1,000 win streak. I won't battle you next time, though. You'll just break my streak. <laughs> has he found the one person he can't win against? Ah, this music is so good! Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Oh, it's over. I'm sad now. Route 11. Oh no, I was thinking this was like a different route. Oh, I could have gone around you. Oops. I was thinking this was the route where you get Earthquake, but no, it's like Route 16. Oh god. Die. <laughs> Die. Oh. Or not. Why do I always go first when I use Crunch? But I don't when I- is Dragon Tail of minus priority? Oh wait, I think it does. It has to. Yeah. I'm an idiot. I admit your strength and give you this gift. Ooh, and a spear berry. So I guess it was worth it. I can get free berries. Oh, hey, another one. Kikwa. Yeah, let's do this. Kikwa. That's a Kikwa. If only I still had Bug Bite. Um, Dragon Tail. Huh. Huh. There goes that story element. Wow, well, I'm glad I wasn't trying to catch them. Hi, Iris. Yahoo! I haven't seen you since I ran you in Castilia City. Are you here to battle Grandpa? Yep, Opal is the gym leader. Jaden is my grandpa. We're not really related, though. Oh, the gym is that way. Before challenging it, you might want to go to Route 9. Still, your Pokemon really respect you. I feel how much your Pokemon are having even more f or feel much feel how much fun your Pokemon are having, even from inside their Pokeballs. Good luck. Oh yeah, that was like kind of a trait Iris had, wasn't it? Ooh, a guy with a guitar. Or a guitar. So is he gonna add a guitar? 
to the sound. I think I hear it. I want to find more music. Let me find more music. 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 What are these? Mimicking someone's fun. Do you want to find who mimics me among my friends? Sure. Okay, here goes. Sumeru. Okay. Hi. Correct. Here goes. Okay. That was... This is really easy. <laughs> yes, one more time. Seriously? No. That was dumb. Do you give me the, like, TM for Mimic? Or something? How many times do I have to do that? Isn't Drayden's place, like, here? I axe you. You're adorable. I miss my axe you. From, from the black evolution walk. I miss that thing. Concerned about your Pokemon's weight? There's a floatstone. Interesting. If only that worked on people. Be able to master it. It's a ring target. If Pokemon, it can be hit even by a move that would usually have no effect. For example, a normal type. Mastering the item is a bit tough. I guess there's a strategic use for that. There are ways you could do that, like... I don't know, giving a psychic type so or no. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What use would that have? A ground type with Volt Absorb? <laughs> Could be hit by an electric move? We're gonna be a opposite to the gym. Here's some fresh water. Stay hydrated. This gym music is so good! It's so triumphant! How do you like these dragon statues? This gym is the only place in Univo with statues this size. Climb up on the dragon's head, aim for the top of the other dragon, or Drayden. The gym leader is waiting. The dragon type Pokemon are his specialty. Just between you and me, dragon types are weak to ice type moves, as well as to moves of their own type, meaning dragon. Okay. Why did Iris say I wanted to go to Route 9 first? I'm questioning that now. What's in Route 9? Oh, this is just training, and then they got the mall. There's also the entrance to the giant chasm over there. But I don't need it. I'll just fight the trainers in here, and then fight Drayden next episode. Um, This way? Oh, okay. Aim for the top, like a dragon taking flight. Okay. I remember this gym being kind of hard in my testing, only because there's a chance that everything can kill me. I don't think the trainers were difficult, it was just Drayden. The ones on the right emphasize attack, the ones on the left emphasize defense. Return to the dragon's head and step on the glowing triangle, and choose either left or right. Okay. Let's go defense. Yeah. Defense is everything. Because I don't want to be attacked, thank you very much. Okay. Didn't I just get a berry for this? Oh no, that's defrost. Um... Rip. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Stop it. Ah! 
Please no. Please stop. Please stop. Ah! Jeez! Had to be a crit. So much for specializing in defense. I can kill him with a, with a bulldoze, right? Cause that's... 60, but I'm swaggered, so it's 120. I've got the soft sand, it should kill, and it's stab. Whereas this is just 60, super effective. Yeah, okay, we're good. Try it again. Okay. Right when it, yes. Trainers that wait above have different fighting styles. The one on the right fights with only triple battles. The one on the left fights only rotation battles. Dang it! <laughs> they won't even battle you if you don't have three or more Pokemon with you. Which one fights what? The one on the left, so I'm going to the left. Because I want to just be able to use my Flygon. Gotta go down. <laughs> I hate this mechanic. I really wish they had kept it in the game in the current generation, but I'm glad they took it out of the story. Because this is annoying. Oshawad. And Patrat. Because they, I think, need to evolve at some point so they can use all the HMs, because I don't think Patrat can learn strength. Or wait, doesn't he already have strength? Um, left. Don't you already have strength? No. <coughs> you don't have... <coughs> oh god. You don't have anything. Huh. Rotation battles. How the three Pokemon follow one another is key. Okay. Axie. Um, Dragon Tail. Dead. Oh God. Oshawott's first level. Yay, Oshawott. Oshawott's gonna evolve. Tail Whip. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna... Yep. <laughs> Jeez, why do you earn crunch at 16? Holy crap. Uh, hyper potion. Oh my god. That's a huge punch that this axe you packs. Oh god. Stop it. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Um, bulldoze. Okay, dead Dredigan. That was easy. Cordulia. Oh no. Stop gaining levels. Okay. 
Get rid of Lear, sure. Oh, yay! No one cares. No one ca Oh god, it <laughs> froze for a second. Awesome. I have a duo now. I'm gonna now leave the gym since I just have to fight Drayden. So that was eventful. I have a few minutes. I can fight Drayden, I think. I'll either win or lose, so... <laughs> it's dragon types, so basically I'll, this'll either be... This'll be a quick battle. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> I'm gonna restock on Hyper Potions. 40! Revives. Although not necessary, sure. What else am I using things for? He likes... I've had Swagger used on me a few times. So... Let's get those. Oh god. Oh god. I overshot it. <coughs> so... Now I'm gonna go up to Drayden, I think, is what I can do? Yep. Boom! Awesome. Okay. Yeah, let's fight him. Let's go for it. Welcome, thank you for coming. I am the Opelucid Pokemon Gym Leader, Drayden. As the mayor, I've given everything to developing the city. As a trainer, I've simply been pursuing greater strength. But what I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future the way Iris has. Perhaps. Oh, he looks so cool, it's purple. It's like a dark purple. Great. Leader Drayden. Dratagon. He has a Dredigan. So, Dragon Tail. Oh, Haxorus. Oh, Haxorus. Nope. Not letting that happen. <laughs> this is fun. That just. That was easy. I could rock slide you. I could also just Dragon Tail. Yeah, you're cotton guarding, so I'm gonna dragon tail. <laughs> oh, it's dead, okay. Flygon. Dragon tail. <laughs> Try it again, dragon tail. Or er, Haxorus, dragon tail. <laughs> Flygon. Flygon versus Flygon. Oh god, he used a hyper potion. Levitate! You have Levitate? I should know this. Yeah. Oh. I forgot about that. Eesh. Yeesh. Yeesh. Crit, not nice. Crit, not nice. Die. <laughs> Thank you. That was easy. This bitter mint that floods me after this. The heart that does not... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I tried. But that was easy. Dragon Tail made that really fun. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm grateful that we had a chance to meet in battle. It reminded me that Pokemon battles are about working with others to meet our challenges together. That was really entertaining. For the, like, short four-minute battle it was. <laughs> Not even that. It was, like, three minutes. <laughs> I wish he had more Pokemon. He's the seventh gym leader. He needs more Pokemon. 
Well now, you've obtained seven of the gym badges in the universe. That means Pokemon up to level 80, including those you've received in trades, will follow your commands obediently. I also want you to have this. It's a TM I'm particularly fond of. It's called Dragon Tail. Yeah, I know it. I know it pretty well. Dragon Tail is a move that returns the Pokemon damage to its Pokemon. In other words, it switches your opponent's Pokemon. Professor Juniper asked me to tell you about the legendary Dragon Tail Pokemon that created Unova. Please wait outside. Okay. So, I'm going to end this episode here. After I get out, or after I just get to the bottom of the gym. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you all later.